I'm a kid of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, grew up in the Brittany Hills area of Columbus. Went to school on half-day schedule in Columbus Public. But I had teachers who pushed me forward. And I had teachers who saw in me potential and they nurtured it and challenged it and made me stretch. And then I was fortunate enough, even though I grew up in a single parent home, to have a mother and a grandmother who always put us first, right? So I've seen so many kids that didn't have the benefit of that. It really is my why. I meet so many young people who say, I want to be a leader. I want to be an elected official. And I go, why? What's your why? Right? Why, why are you doing this? You can't aspire to leadership because it's about you. You've got to, one, prepare yourself, and then what you do is let your passion lead you. But you got to make sure that you are the person you want to be. Because if you're going to lead, you got to have something to say, and you got to have people willing to follow you. So take the time, prepare yourself. The future is long, and you'll have a chance to add your voice, but you need to be able to do it from a place where there is respect for who you are, right? That people believe in why you're doing it and that they want to follow. I say this to law students all the time, being at Ohio State, choosing to go to law school at Ohio State was the best decision I ever made. Barbara Rich um, has long since retired from the university, but she was in the law school. I think she was the admissions director. And I was determined I was going to Georgetown. I was going to be in Washington, D.C. I was going to Georgetown. And Barbara Rich called me every week and she'd be like, so when can we see your acceptance? And I'd be like, Mrs. Rich, you're so nice, but I'm going to Georgetown. <laughs> And she would not let up. And my mother was finally the one who said to me, like, how are you going to pay for Georgetown tuition and live in D.C.? Ohio State's giving you a full ride. This is crazy. And you know what? It was the best decision I ever made. Because when I got to Ohio State, not only did I have Barbara Rich, I had Jack Henderson, who has since passed, who was the associate dean, Dean Meeks, and these amazing black law students, out of a class of 225, 25% of us were women, only 11, 11 black law students. But out of that group, we have judges, uh, we have elected officials, we have chief legal officers for Fortune 500 companies. It was just this amazing group of supportive, um, it was like family, right? And my decision to go to Ohio State, best decision I ever made. Not only did I have an excellent legal education, but I found community. And you can't say that at every school, right? I found community, people who supported me, not just in law school, but as I launched my career. It's why I continue to pay forward, right? It's why I'm still part of the law school. I'm on the National Council. I fund a scholarship because, again, I'm grateful. I want for kids like me who couldn't afford to go to law school to have the opportunity to do so. So I spend my treasure and my time still with the law school. What does this award uh, mean to me? Um, I know Judge Duncan uh, received this honor and he was a mentor of mine. Um, in fact, he was the first black man I saw in my community who had a position of authority. And when I took my oath for the Ohio Supreme Court Judge Duncan came up to me and he said, I could not be more proud of you if you were my daughter. And so for me, being in a space where he is, like joining the Hall of Fame where he is, um, it's humbling, first of all, but really it's, it's just an honor. I mean, I'd like to thank, um, my grandmother's not alive, but I'd like to thank her. I mean, I think that um, she was a strong woman. She gave me strength. She gave my mother strength. My mother was a teenage mother. She didn't know anything about being a parent. And my grandmother gave her the strength to raise me and my two younger brothers. I, I really want to thank Barbara Rich and, and uh, Dean Henderson and uh, the deans that have come after them. Um, I love the dean that we have now, Dean Davies and Dean Michaels, uh, bef Dean Allen Michaels before him. Um, those people have kept the law school focused on diversity in challenging times, right? Bill Loda, who invited me to join the Ohio State University Alumni Board, um, where I got, to, I, I say to people, I got to be Archie Griffin's boss. That was really cool. <laughs> But it, it, it kept me connected um, 
um, to, the, to the school, to the university, and the broader community. But I would honestly say thank you to the people of this state and this community. I mean, and this community supported me. They nurtured me, they pushed me forward, and they elected me against a sitting judge. Um, and that's where it began. And so I'm enormously grateful to the people in Columbus who gave me opportunity. Every blessing that I have today, that we have today, is from people who sacrificed and struggled, whose names are not written anywhere, who aren't famous, but who believe that the future would be better. Those are the people I want to say thank you to. So when I was a juvenile court judge, you know, the one reason I ran for judge is before that I had been the chief counsel to the Department of Youth Services which, and the Department of Corrections, so they incarcerate adults and juveniles. And I can remember walking through those institutions, seeing kids who could have been from my neighborhood, who because of the circumstances of their birth didn't have easy choices. And so when I got on the court, I was determined I was going to make a difference. And I remember going to, um, going to my colleagues and saying, I've never had a kid that I've sentenced to jail who went to school every day. For me, there is a direct correlation between kids who go to school and kids who are committing crimes. And they're like, well, I'm not taking on any other work and I don't have. So I just decided to do it. I kept my full docket. I didn't take any decrease. I talked to the county prosecutor and we started with one school. I never wanted to be just a judge, just a judge sentencing people. If I couldn't make a difference, I didn't want to be there.